strange-looking E.T. finger toys to dolls that send chills down our spine, our childhoods were filled with some of the most messed up toys ever. Stick around to see one of the creepiest dolls we have ever seen. Hey guys, check out our new member of the family, Toy Hub. Toy Hub is the ultimate place for kids to get their daily dose of crunchy slime, squishy slime, sticky slime, Play-Doh, color learning, and so much more. We have lots of fun with the most awesome toys and amazing stories for kids. Make sure to show it to all the kids in your family. And while you're there, make sure to subscribe and hit that like button at Toy Hub. It's playtime. Don't forget to like this video and subscribe to our channel. Now get ready because we're about to check out 10 most messed up toys for kids. The Jolly Chimp. Toy monkeys are usually soft, fluffy, and very cuddly. But this is not one of them. There's a good chance you've seen this kid's toy in several messed up movie scenes because this toy is kind of messed up. We have no idea why this exists, but a part of us is secretly laughing at it. Of course, we're also a little bit creeped out. It's the symbol monkey, also known as the Jolly Chimp or Charlie Chimp. We're not sure what's up with the face, and it definitely doesn't look like a toy that kids would play with. The truth is the Jolly Chimp is actually a vintage toy that's been around since the 19th century when it was used by street musicians. The symbols keep going and going until you make them stop by turning off the battery. Unfortunately, the monkey's odd face never seems to change. Those facial expressions actually come from the original Japanese version from the 1950s, and believe it or not, its eyeballs would pop out even more and the monkey would even screech. This musical monkey went through several different changes and even got discontinued at some point. The current version of Charlie Chimp has been around since 2004, and it's still one of the most recognizable toys out there. However, we're pretty sure that it's also the toy that appeared in most horror scenes. E.T.'s Finger Light even Ellen DeGeneres was horrified when she stumbled upon this very interestingly shaped E.T. finger light toy. You've heard of E.T., right? It's a story about an alien who gets stranded on Earth and becomes best friends with a boy called Elliot. E.T. has a glowing finger, which he can use to heal injuries at a large distance. Sounds pretty cool, right? Well, this toy was supposed to represent E.T.'s finger. According to the box, it also glows as you press the button. According to eBay, this is a vintage collector's item, as it's so old its batteries are no longer working. But that's not the reason why we're putting it on our messed up toys list. It's on here because it looks like an inappropriate toy. The design is supposed to represent E.T.'s alien finger, but most people will see a completely different thing. We can't imagine how the manufacturers managed to get away with this design because this shirt doesn't look like a toy a child would use. It wouldn't be the first time we came across a toy that's definitely not meant to be child friendly, but the E.T. Finger Light is our own personal winner in this category. E.T. phone home and tell them that this is definitely not what your finger looks like. At least we hope it doesn't. Sea Monkeys Yes, we also added the ever so popular Sea Monkeys to our list. We bet you owned at least one of these sets during your childhood. The concept of the toy is pretty entertaining. Put the powder in salt water, and you end up with cute sea monkey looking light creatures. The popularity of the sea monkeys started off in 1957, when the owner, Harold von Braunhut, became fascinated with the species called brine shrimp. After studying them, he realized the animals could stay alive even without water using their protective casing. This inspired him to take a package of powder, put it in water, and then see it come to life. Strange to think that animals we call sea monkeys are actually powdered shrimp, right? With that being said, they were initially called the instant life. But the shrimp's tails inspired the name behind the toy monkeys you know today. See how different it sounds knowing you're getting sea monkeys rather than instant life shrimp? Here's another thing that's quite unusual about this toy. The packaging doesn't even make sense, as the creatures look absolutely nothing like they do in the picture. The popularity of the toy also required the owner to crossbreed shrimps, as their real-life expectancy is just too short. Seems a bit messed up that we're purchasing animals that don't look like they should even be used as toys in the first place, right? This unfortunate scene. Now, this one is just really disturbing, and we can't imagine why any child would want a toy like this. These are called roadkill toys, and what you see here is a pretty grotesque scene of a crocodile eating a baby. While this particular toy is not for sale, we did manage to find several similar plush toys that are just so bizarre, we really can't wrap our heads around why the fact someone would want to buy these for their child. A UK website that sells unusual gifts 
listed these toys as not the most tasteful things ever, but they're a perfect choice for people with a sense of humor. According to them, the collection includes different characters that have met their destiny while crossing a highway. We're sure there's only a handful of children out there who would cuddle up with a toy like this. And we can't blame them. Having stuffed toys in your life is actually beneficial for children from a very young age. Babies use them to become familiar with different surfaces, toddlers make them excellent companions, and preschoolers involve them in all sorts of imaginative play. While this channel definitely loves talking about some of the weirdest things we can find on the internet, a roadkill toy for children is just not one of them. Batman Water Gun Sometimes, toy makers don't really think things through. And this Batman water gun toy is definitely one of those cases. It's not the first time we've witnessed an inappropriate toy, and it's definitely not the last. This Batman water gun is definitely one of those toys that got one of the most unfortunate designs ever. We're not particularly worried about the way this Batman stands, we're just more grossed out to see where the water gun trigger is. Whether this was an intentional or unintentional innuendo, it's safe to say it's one of the most messed up toys we've ever seen. This Japanese-made toy existed back in the 1960s, and it sold as a vintage collectible. And it's not just the front trigger that's disturbing. Wait until you see the part where you're supposed to put water in. Japan is known for unusual, out-of-this-world toys, but this seems like a pretty bold move for the 1960s, doesn't it? And yes, Batman actually existed way before the 1960s. The first version of the superhero appeared in 1939. But we can imagine that people back then never thought someone would design a Batman water gun that looked like this. What do you think? Is this an acceptable toy, or is it best to stay away from it and leave it out of children's reach? The Breastfeeding Doll If you watch our videos, you've seen us mentioning weird toy concepts like baby's first baby. That actually turned out to be a statement project. Well, the breastfeeding doll is not a statement project. It's an actual toy available for purchase, and we're really not sure how we feel about this. It's called Bebe Gluton, which translates into gluttonous baby, and it was created by a Spanish company back in 2009. The toy's mission is to educate children on breastfeeding. And while that's understandable by some parents, others were completely grossed out and argued that children are far too young to understand the concept of breastfeeding. This doll also comes with a breastfeeding bra, which allows girls aged as young as eight to pretend to breastfeed their young babies. The bra even makes a suckling sound, just like an actual baby does when breastfeeding. We've definitely seen some educational toys with some of these bizarre concepts, but we're not really sure how we feel about the breastfeeding doll. Nowadays, many high schoolers also have classes where they have to take care of a robot baby to prepare them for parenthood. These babies have to be burped, their diapers have to be changed, and they need to be fed. Otherwise, they get cranky, just like a real baby. And while that's completely normal, we're not sure how we feel about babies breastfeeding babies. Canned Unicorn Meat This might not look like a toy, but we promise it actually is. It'll question everything you've ever known about mythical creatures and resurface the good old debate on whether or not unicorns exist. It's a box of canned unicorn meat. But what's even more disturbing is the fact that you get a sliced up unicorn toy on the inside. We have to admit that this is actually pretty clever, but since unicorns are kids' favorite, we can imagine some might be pretty upset by this toy. The description of this toy jokes about the fact that the so-called meat tastes like rotisserie chicken with a hint of marshmallow sweetness. It also features crunchy unicorn bits that provide an excellent source of calcium. Of course, this is all just a joke because the product you receive isn't actually edible. We can't decide what's more messed up. While we think the concept of canned unicorn meat is actually pretty clever, seeing a sliced up unicorn toy might really traumatize kids. If you believe in unicorns in any shape or form, it's definitely recommended to stay away from this kid's toy. On the other hand, go and have a read at the description of this toy, as it's absolutely hilarious. Would you ever eat canned unicorn meat if you actually could? Let us know in the comments! Breaking Bad Dolls Our channel featured several bizarre dolls we managed to find online, but this one is one of the most controversial ones we could find. If you're a Breaking Bad fan, this might make you just a little bit angry. While Breaking Bad is indeed a popular show, and there are several people out there who would collect these, dolls are still a children's toy, and many just don't see why kids should be subject to Breaking Bad's storyline. These awesome-looking Breaking Bad dolls were distributed by Toys R Us in 2014 and pulled from the shelves after a mom from Florida launched an online petition to discontinue the dolls, which are promoting illegal substances and include some questionable objects as props. 
Breaking Bad storyline is definitely not meant for children. And although many adults enjoy the adventures of Walter White, it is inappropriate to promote his life choices to children. Of course, the fans of the show started their own petition to keep the dolls, and many stated they love a 3D representation of their favorite characters, and it's unfair to discontinue the toys. Many argue that there are far many other questionable toys out there that are way more aggressive than the Walter White doll. What do you think about this doll that features a bag of narcotics, money, and Walter White holding a gun? Rad repeating Tarzan. You might have seen this toy on Ellen DeGeneres because she was just as surprised by its movements as we are. Tarzan is definitely a beloved Disney character. He's strong, and he has an unusual story that captured our hearts and taught us to be better humans. But we're not entirely sure how to feel about this unfortunate kid's toy that somehow hit the store shelf. To make Tarzan move, you need to press the button on his back. The hero will then raise his arm up and down while releasing his famous battle cry. While we have nothing against his battle cry, we definitely do see an issue with this incredibly suggestive motion of his arm. There's absolutely no need to ruin your childhood by giving you this mental image. What do you think? Is this an appropriate motion for this Tarzan toy? It's speculated that The Legend of Tarzan was actually based on a true story of William Charles Milden, who spent 15 years living in a jungle after being shipwrecked. Although we have no confirmation of this particular fact, we can definitely confirm that this toy is one of the most messed up toys for kids we've ever seen. We apologize in advance for ruining your childhood and hope you can forgive us by checking out the next messed up children's toy, Baby Reptile. This is a toy that easily sends chills down our spine every time we look at this picture. Don't stare at it for too long. We're still worried we might accidentally make it come to life. We've discussed creepy reptile toys and creepy babies, but we have never come across anything as disturbing as this toy. Luckily, this is not available for sale in major toy stores. But it is handmade by a woman called Cat, who spends a lot of her time sculpting some of the creepiest toys you've ever seen. Doesn't it look like a baby lizard, except it has a lot of baby hands instead of animal feet? This definitely gives us the creeps. And there's no way we're letting this thing go anywhere close to children. You could, of course, argue that these are just a fantastic DIY way of recycling dolls. But you also have to admit that these are totally creepy. However, it is not the first time we've seen a creepy baby doll like that. While it's much less disturbing visually, this mechanical baby doll also deserves the Bizarre Award. We're not sure what the fascination is with turning baby dolls into something other than adorable, but it's safe to say that parents will definitely not let any of these toys come in contact with children. Did you play with anything weird as a kid? Let us know in the comments! That's it for this video! Don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel! For more videos like this one, check out 10 Strangest Reasons Kids Toys Were Banned in Schools. See you next time!